credits received. Thank you for your monetary support.
turn that shit down. God, I feel like I haven't streamed in like forever. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't know how to stream. Listen, the reason I'm streaming is because of this mustache. I'm just kidding. Honestly, the reason I'm streaming is because I am desperate, more than desperate, to play some video games before I go home. And also, go Packers. Wait, is over on this side? Go Pack Go. Welcome, everybody. Which I don't know who everybody is yet, but uh, I'm back and streaming, which is kind of sick. Let's see. Yeah, it's a big game this weekend. The Packers. Wait, can you not hear me? There's audio. There was an audio in the first five seconds, but there is audio now. Is the stash good? 10 out of 10. Holy crap. 10 out of 10. Dr. Nick, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I like this music, man. This is good. This is good. I did lose half my beard. Hey, Chucky. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Is this Chucky from GTA RP? Is that possible? I did post in the stream promotions tab in the RP server. <laughs> I've never done that before. That's kind of cool. The post in the post in the RP server, which is something I've never been a part of until now. An RP server. It's not Lewis Lancaster. It's Louis Lancaster. But that's all right. Joel didn't know any better. Lewis is not a name I'm cool with. Louis, I can do. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I want to do is play GTA RP. So let's freaking get into it because it's ridiculous. All right. Hang on. I got to like figure out how to do this again. So if I go to do this, so here I am in the little corner. And if I do this and I do this. Does this work? Yeah. So there's my RP, right? Is your boys on 5M? Yeah, that's how you found me, Chucky. Welcome. Chucky is from GTA RP, which I have decided today that I'm not really sure if I can include the cam while I RP. It's kind of confusing. Um, now I can see why a lot of RP server or RP streamers don't have a cam because it kind of breaks away. Hey, oh, hey, SJ. My brother's name is Stephen James. That's what reminds me of that. Welcome to the stream. So if you're new here and you don't know who I am, uh, I'm Brian. I'm the CEO of Gamer Advantage, GamerAdvantage.com. We are a premium peripheral provider, and our peripheral is eyewear. So you spend $300 on your microphone, $200 on your keyboard. I'm going low. $100 on your mouse, two grand on your PC, maybe $600 on a couple monitors. And then you think that glasses should be 15 bucks? Come on. You can't even see my shoes, yo. You don't have no idea how much the shoes are on my feet. They're actually uh, morale, so they're not bad. But the point being is that should my shoes be more expensive than my glasses in this industry? Or should my glasses make me look the best? And speaking about glasses, just to put it in perspective, hang on. Let me show you something real quick before we get started. Hang on a second. See, this, this is what I do every day. Glasses, glasses, glasses. These are all things. These are all things that I'm looking through. You know, you can't go wrong with either one, but. The augments are a little bigger, a little rounder, a little bigger. Infernos are great. Augments are a little bigger. And Jackie, I found, if you want to look online, there's a couple girls who wear the sandbox, which is the same shape as the augment. So, assuming you're a female, which you might not be, but if you were, sometimes females prefer it a little bit more oversized, that would be the frame to go with. But, like, I, I, today I've been spending a lot of time saying, you know, what's next for Gamer Advantage? So, look at this frame. Very flexible, very lightweight. Okay? This is pure titanium. 100% titanium. That That is an ultra premium thing in eyewear. I just started. I just started playing RP. 
I can almost wear these right now. I like these. So I'm testing out new samples for the next frame for Gamer Advantage. Many of you have asked for an aviator. Here's one of the samples that I'm looking at. This might be the lightest pair of glasses I've ever worn. I mean, ours is light. Like, this is super light, but... I mean, honestly, I think this titanium might be lighter. What do you think? Horizons are great. Horizons are badass. They're coming back, but you're going to have to wait a little bit. They're sold out right now, but we should get a handful back in for the holidays. Right here. It's okay to own two pairs. How many pairs of shoes do you own? How many watches do you own? How many water bottles do you own? Some of those water bottles are like 50 bucks. I know people have like five or six of them. All right. Purple tint. I can do purple tint. I can do anything. Literally, I'm capable of making anything. Check this out. Yeah. Check this out. Not bad. Not a bad frame, right? Boom. Oh, you can't even really see it because of my NVIDIA. This is uh, maple. Pure maple. 100% wood. Now, if I did that, would it break? Yeah, but it's cool as hell. This is a cool frame. Yeah. it's Own more than one pair. You could buy three pairs of our glasses for the price you're going to pay walking into a doctor's office. And I promise you, our lens is likely a better quality than what you're going to order. But I'll stick with my frames that actually have gamer advantage lenses in it. We also have something really cool coming out. And since there's only a handful of you on here, I'm going to let you know we do have a completely clear lens coming out. And when I say completely clear, I mean the clearest shit you've ever seen in your life. To where it's almost like an airbag in your car. You don't know it's there, but goddamn, you're happy it is. No, it, 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 the, whether there's a prescription in it or not, it's the same lens, okay? Our lenses are not made without the blue light baked into the lens. So what a lot of people do is they take a lens, all right, and they dip it and make it yellow and call it blue light glasses. It's called Easter egg. Or what they do is they take a regular lens and it's not a blue light lens right now and then they put an AR coating on it and they call that a blue light lens. That's not how we operate. Our lenses are manufactured with a powder that is baked inside of the lens. So whether it's prescription or non-prescription, it's the same lens. So no worries. And it's getting towards the end of the year. So yeah, well, if you have like a cheaper blue light AR coating, you're definitely going to get a high level of glare and you should watch where your lights are too. Because if it's glaring off your lenses, that means you have it pointed directly at your eyes. Um, I'm wearing mine right now. Not a lot of glare, right? I don't see much glare in my... I'm wearing mine right now. So, you know, you, you'd you see it first. Now, I don't have studio lights on me. Luckily, I have LED lighting in my ceiling. So it's nice and bright in here. But no, you're not going to see... You're not going to see that glare you're talking about. You will see it sometimes. Especially if you have a ring light right in front of your eye. You're definitely going to see it. I don't... Do I want to show them? Do you want to? Are those yours? Are these yours? No. Do these have a prescription in them? No. Oh. Damn, why are these all like... Oh, they're cut too big. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you only because there's not only a handful of people here right now, okay? This is the, our existing lens. It's not yellow, so it's definitely not yellow, right? But like for reference, if you put a white piece of paper behind it, okay? You won't notice that when you're wearing them. Check this out. See the difference? That's a big deal. So for all those people who have reluctantly, who have been reluctant to purchase our glasses because they think for some reason you can tell, which you can't even with these, we're coming out with an even more clear lens. A lens you won't even know that the protection is there. And at the nanometer that we're targeting on for this lens, we are going to block 95% more than our competitors. 95% more than our competitors block with that kind of lens. That is freaking sweet. So then there's no excuse. There's no excuse to not, unless you don't, unless you hate our frame style, you cannot use the color of the lens as a reason for why you haven't invested. Either you don't believe, which is fine, we'll get you there one day, or you had a thing with the color. No, you shouldn't wait, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because eventually what you're gonna see from Gamer Advantage is kind of a 
think about shoes again. Shoes again. Shoes are the best thing to, to compare it to. You wouldn't wear your sandals in the snow. So with these clear lenses, I look at them as like kind of our all day, like we wear them all day, every day. But then these lenses, you might swap it out when you're laying in bed watching TV because this lens is going to give a higher level of melatonin production result. So while the protection is still superior by a long shot to anybody else you're buying from, there, and then our other lens that's going to come out, which Joel is freaking obsessed with, because it literally is the best lens ever made. It's it's darker. It's dark. Joel, can you bring that in for me real quick? It's dark, but it provides like it is one of those pairs of glasses you put on and you're like almost instantly you're like, "Damn. I can feel this." And you're like, "Wow. I'm willing to accept the color cuz it makes me feel so good." And it's not a tint, okay? So just so you know, it is not a tint. We don't tint our glasses. Here, let me see these real quick. So these are cut a little weird. Okay, so we have three levels. We have clear, completely clear. We have ultra. Has a little color to it. It is not a tint, but you cannot tell when they're on somebody's face, nor can you tell when you're looking through them. And last but not least, which you will see probably Q2 2022, is the max. Now this frame is darker these lenses are effed up so ignore that on the top now this is darker but it, it works for me it really works for joel it's got like an al pacino thing going i love this lens i could care less what anybody thinks i look like in it i know some of you care but this lens it, it, it it's like i don't know it's like some kind of weird voodoo like it is the most relaxed your eyes will ever feel in a lens and so we're going to offer three different three different powers, not three different colors, if that makes sense. So if you look at some of our competitors, they might have like amber versus yellow versus clear. We're not changing color. All we're simply doing is taking our patented powder. We're taking our patented powder and we're putting it in the lens. And the more powder we add, the darker they get. And guess what happens if we add too much powder? Can you grab me those over there? The fingery. When you add too much powder, too much blue light powder, you get this. These are blue light glass. God, these look fucking good right now on me in this stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> I don't know, I just uh, just tooted my own horn real quick. These, this is our technology heavy loaded into the lens during the manufacturing process. So what that means is that this is the only pair of sunglasses that doesn't distort your phone when you look at them. Because instead of having a cross polarization, it's done from the blue light filtering powder that we use. And that powder is extracted from natural things like the marigold flower. There are natural ingredients in the powder, like literally ground up plant matter in the powder put in the lens no sun clip this is like a this is from my wife's family this is a pair of glasses that that they have this is a badass pair of glasses though i do like these it's from um these glasses are from uh what's the movie um kingsman kingsman that's where this was inspired by kingsman so you get the point okay yeah no i these are actually sunglasses for testing purposes that's all so i just I just use this frame to test the lens. But no, most things, some things will have clips, some things won't. And we will offer a sun lens in the future. So you'll be able to buy this aviator as a pair of sunglasses or buy this aviator as just regular glasses or aha, buy this in transitions with our technology. What if you saw that? That might be coming as well. So GD, I just gave you all the information of everything that we're doing. And now I only have a half hour to play GTA RP. So screw that. Let's get into this thing. Oh, crap. Do I have Steam open? Hang on. I'm still such a noob. And I would love to re-enter the, uh, you know, I'd love, what the hell? Why is there an error identifier missing? What is happening? 
What am I doing wrong here? Let's try again. Let's load it again. Mm -hmm. I'm in now. I just had to restart. I had to restart 5M after you opened Steam. Yeah, I didn't know that. Hang on, let me, uh... This is my new jam, guys. You have no idea. Oh, this thing's way up. Whoops. Oh, what did I do? Oh, God. What did I just do? Broke everything. I broke it all. <laughs> hey, God. This, uh, this whole RP... This is way off. Bear with me. This is not scaled on my computer the same way it's being scaled for you. So we're just going to deal with it for a little bit. Here, I'll put me up here. Oh, no, I can't move that damn thing. Hang on. All right, well, this will just have to do. <laughs> I have to, I need to get my, uh, I need to get my, uh, my, scaling that's not the word resolution corrected in how i have it set up this big freaking screen is not friendly when it comes to hey thank you appreciate that nippy um they have a rap song for the server yeah they do yeah the the uh the game isn't quite scaled for my monitor correctly all right so let me introduce you to uh louis lancaster this is my guy his name is louis you know, get a look at him there he, he had a different outfit he's got a tattoo on his neck it's a signifier that we use for the uh for the taxi cab company i don't know where it is i don't know what happened to his tattoo it's somewhere over there um this is our uniform for the taxi cab company so i uh did ask to be the owner of the taxi cab company um so that is my role in the server i am the taxi boss you can see there in the top right uh i'm the taxi boss this is a smaller server right now it's just getting started so i only got 22 people or 20 people out of a max 64 on here um i'm really into i'm really into the to the rp the problem is is i'm not really a push to talk guy <laughs> so because I'm not a push to talk guy, I am going to struggle to stream and do RP. So maybe I should practice push to talk right now. I doubt anybody else in my tech. I do have three employees right now, but I doubt anybody else is going to show up. One thing I should fix though is, well, I need a, uh, I'm going to go, I think he said 1920 by 1080 is what we wanted to be at. It's not even in here. Isn't that what he said to set it at 1920 by 1080? Shit. Well, that's not even an option, first of all. So we, I dig, I am having a little bit of graphics issues when I do this, but oh, there we go. Maybe this will help. Let's see if that works. And then what was the other thing I was supposed to do? Come over here. I can't hear you. I'm yelling at my employees to come teach me. I know I have voice activation on. I need to consider shutting it off. Hey, you know what? I guess if they pull my affiliation for it, it's okay because I'm trying to reach as many people as I possibly can as a streamer. I could, I mean, I'm not trying to dig on anybody. I could care less about being an affiliate. We donate every penny that is sent to this channel. Um, if they want to pull my affiliate and reduce donations to charities, I have no problem. I'll still multi-stream. I don't need to be an affiliate to stream. Um, I simply do this to come hang out with you guys. Uh, it's important that I do it on YouTube and Facebook as well uh, because that's where there's other – and Theta, definitely Theta. 
and that's fine. I mean, if, if they want to make it difficult for me to stream here, then that's what we'll do. I mean, I get it. I told, I and I have heard that before. I definitely respect that using their platform to send stuff to other platforms. But uh, I, we literally have donated every single penny that has come in to us, every single penny. Um, and, in a, we ju and as a matter of fact, we just used Twitch and multi-stream to donate or uh, raise over what do we raise Ten, um, joel what do we raise no total total oh almost 10k we raised almost ten thousand dollars for rad rise above disorder 10 grand we did this week raising it for rad so no i really appreciate it and i pigowski i totally appreciate it thank you and the best thing we can do is not put me in a position where we're talking too much about that, right? Like, let's mm -hmm. uh, let's let them find out. So, whatever. I mean, if they took me, what happens if they take my affiliate away? You can't tip me, and I don't get to use emotes or something like that. I don't even remember. I can still play RP, and I can still have overlays, and I can still play music. So, whatever. Um, 1920 by 1080, what was the other yeah, thing? Yeah, go to graphics. Oh, yeah, I need to apply these. Let's see what happens to my screen, though. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's way better. Hang on, let me get fix this. Fix this shiz. There we go. Yeah. All right, and then graphics. Oops. Is it advanced graphics? What is it? It's uh, texture budget. Extra budget? GBA graphics. Oh. I thought you were explaining something. Oh, it oh. just changes the menu. Yeah. Okay. No, it just goes to advanced graphics. All right, whatever. All right. Okay. I'll figure it out. Good enough. All right, screw it. Here we go. Whoa, and you came in, gifted two tier one subs. Wow. Oh, damn. 12,380, 12,360 is what? Wow, geez, I don't even know. Look at that. Thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciate you. All right, real quick, though, I got to show you what I bought. Hey, Marty, thanks for the resub, too. Really appreciate you. So I did buy a car. You know what the cool thing about being taxi boss is? Oh, wait, I want to figure out the push to talk thing because I don't want people hearing me talk to my stream. So let's figure that out real quick. I mean, I know what it is, but. Uh, no. God dang it. Hang on. <laughs> I think it's M. Is it? No, N. Is it N? Yeah, it's N. And my mouth is moving? All right, cool. So it's N. That's good. We got that much. Okay, cool. So now they can't hear me. And I should probably pull out my radio just in case I get any peeps on. Just in case. We do have a channel. That baby away. All right. Yeah. He's, uh, he's actually wearing the augment right now. Oh, there's my tat. See my tat? I don't know if we can get closer. There it is right there. See my tat? This is me in a different life. All right, let's go get my car real quick. I've been grinding, all right? Okay, got some dirty money. Got some cash. Got 27 grand in my wallet. I got to show you my whip, though. This is the boss's car. I refuse to, I refuse to do, uh, do drives in it. We are starting cash cab, by the way. So tonight I'm, I'm probably, Ooh, that's sick. Love it. Whoop. That's a sweet ride, bro. But I love the colors. I love the colors. How much you, how much it cost you to pick that up? I definitely don't have that kind of money, that's for sure. 
That's sweet, bro. Well, if it ever breaks down on you and you need a ride, I got an app in the phone. Louis Lifts. Give me a call. I'll come pick you up. All right, see ya. Go. I got to stop doing the radio and do the push to talk. <laughs> I said, all right, see ya. I'm not used to this push to talk thing. All right, so... Yeah, this is what your boy is driving. You know, it's funny, though. I don't have my controller hooked up, and it's way better to drive with the controller. Oh, God, this thing is so fast. I can't even drive it. It is called Burnout City, so everything burns out. <laughs> All right, I need to drive with the controller. This thing is too fast to drive with the keyboard. It's way easier. When you do cab services like me, yeah, I can turn. Oh, yeah, game volume is way low because, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was way low because I had the music on. Thank you for calling that out. Yeah, let's see if we can hear it now. Better? How's that? Does that sound better? Yeah. I need my controller, though, to drive. It's just way better, man. Got my Cinch gaming controller. Pretty sick. Oh, God. So much better. All right. So this is my personal vehicle. I got uh, red underbody lights. I got the full mod. Does about 120. It's a Range Rover. Two-tone. You want to see the interior? Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Colors are not an accident. <laughs> This is the boss's car. Like I said, it's a pretty quiet city right now. So, but that's okay because we got in early. You don't come into an established server and get taxi boss. Just for the record, I don't know if any of you do GTA RP. I think I saw somebody in here. But if you could vouch for the, you know, the role of taxi boss, I don't know how to put this. I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. <laughs> But the cool thing is about driving the taxi is not only do I have these kind of ads on top, smell like a bitch, and I don't know what that what that even says, but you don't have to worry about gas and you don't have to worry about repairs. So if you look at my car, I literally drove that thing back from the dealership and I have a busted headlight and look how dirty it is. Like how that, like you drive that thing 10 feet and it's like way too d dirty. So now if you get in a taxi, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. Yeah, it gets effed up. You just come back in here, turn it in, get a new car. Now, I've asked the server to give me the presidential Escalade. They said that I could pick a taxi from any GTA set of taxis, and they would put that in. But what it seems is that they're testing me a little bit. Now, I wish I would have started out like this. And I wish I would have made the cab, guy, cab guy's voice like this. Like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Come on in. But I didn't. I just used my own voice. So I'm a little bummed about that. But outside of that, I am my own character in here. And uh, the police mess with me. But I also get, like, a free pass because I'm the taxi. So it's, like, kind of have some authority in the, in the, in the city, but not, like, a ton. So let me show you what I've spent the last two weeks doing in GTA RP. I stop at the stop signs because I try and set an example for everybody else. It's almost not even loud enough for me. I stop at green lights too. Let me show you what I've been doing. I'll get in a cop chase too if they let me. The only problem is I can't figure out how to assign a push to talk button to my controller. It turns out there's some kind of like weird plugin that you have to install which seems like a lot of work because you can only do it for the Elite controller. If anybody knows how to key bind a push to talk on the controller, I could really use help with that because driving and hitting radio or um, push to talk it seems nearly impossible. Oh, I forgot to show you my horn. All right, I'll show you at the end. I made these guys find this horn that wasn't even in the game yet. Um, I forced them to find it, basically. They did find it after going through 47 horns. It's my jam. I'll show it to you when I get back. It's like my favorite thing in the world, is my horn. But let me show you how I've been advertising Louie's Lift Services. Yeah, this cab might sound like crap, but this thing's a beast, all right? So 
Should I come over here? This is garage A. This is like one of the sweet spots. This is my spot right here. I usually like to pull. You know, I pull it nice and straight. All right, look good. There's garage A. This is where most people fly in. Pillbox is down the street. Integrity's down the street. It is a little quiet. So I have found myself. Foot pedal would be cool. Oh, for the push to talk. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'll order that shit right now. Wait, okay, does anybody have a recommendation? I totally forgot they make a foot pedal for push to talk. Is there a recommend? Can somebody link one in the chat for me? I'll go buy it right now. You're right. That's exactly what I need is a foot pedal. I thought about hooking up my, like, farm sim controls for this, which, by the way, farm sim comes out Monday. I know. That's what I said. Like, like get, pick a, you'll find a good one. Like, not a good one, but, like, somebody recommend one. Um, uh, farm sim 2022 comes out on Monday. I am going to grind that, but I am really into RP right now. I'm spending a lot of time on this game simply because I like the direction the server is headed. I want to be a part of it. It doesn't mean I have to do it forever, but damn, I have found that like people grind here. So it's like quiet right now. Tonight, this will be popping. I've thought a lot about streaming from home. I don't have the setup to use a cam right now from home, but I could do a no cam stream if I got the right overlay for it. So something to consider for sure. Actually, I could probably use my full screen one. Um, yeah, sweet, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. So I will get a foot pedal. God, that just doing that in this stream today was worth it. So generally after I, uh, you know, have a sandwich, which sometimes I have to remember the emote names. Oops. Now, maybe before we get started, we should take a, just one rip real quick. Not too much. We want to still be able to drive. So usually what I do is I'll have a donut or a snack, depending on what time of day it is. Just kind of get myself situated. And then after I'm nice and full, which that, that doesn't really do anything for you. You have to eat real food, right? Okay, so then after I'm nice and full, I'll get up here. Whoop. Get up on this thing. I get up all the way on it. Get up there. All right, there we go. Right, right. Let's see if I can remember it. Uh, is it dance? Close stick two. Is that gonna work? Yep. And there it is. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we advertise Louis Lift Services. Hey, listen, I don't drug test at my taxi cab company. You just have to have a clean driving record. If you don't get caught, it's cool. It's a, listen, you can do whatever you want as long as you get the people from point A to point B. And this, but this is how we advertise. I have literally, when the server's slow, sat here for a half hour. Sometimes I do NPC pickups, which are kind of boring because they always go to Sandy Shores like every single time. So it's like the same drive over and over and over. GTRP is free as long as you own the game. 5M is free. Discord's free. I mean, Steam is, you know, free for you know, within context. Um, but it is free. If you own GTA, it's free. And Burnout City, so who's your gaming? He streams on Facebook, I think. Um, he, he started this server, but he was in another server. And I think he tried to promote this server and that server. And then so they, like, kicked him out, and he started this server. And so, of course, it's really heavy right now on bank robberies and, like, they are easy money, but it's just not enough money. You know what I mean? Like they are easy money though. And I do, I do NPC pickups. Don't get me wrong. Cause what it does is it helps learn the city. So anybody who comes on who starts as a trainee, they have to do five NPC pickups without, without a miss. And I have a whole process. So tonight, if you want to get in here, you could probably get whitelisted and get in here fast enough. Tonight we will do cash cab. So what we're doing is if you pull up the phone in the game and you go right here, I have my own app. Louis lifts. Damn ad. Oh, what kind of... See, this is why I hate streams with ads. Like, that's annoying. Like, can't you just get your brand out of here so I can stream my game? I'm gonna drop that sponsorship. Um, Louis lifts. If it would go away, I swear to God. Okay. 
So Louis Lifts right here. Uber is actually a setting in um oh you just in real in real life. That's horrible. That's ridiculous. They're overpaying already for Uber Eats and then they can't tip you. Okay, I like how he's holding his phone and dancing at the same time. It kinda looks like real life, like what, what somebody here would be doing. Like, let's not stop working, but keep dancing. So yeah, no, it's hilarious. Um, so Louis lifts, and then if you click on it, it's gonna show Louis lifts and who's available, Louis Lancaster. And then you can call me. And then I'll come pick you up. So what we're going to do is we start a cash cab. So what I could do here is we can go here. All right, nobody was looking for a ride recently. Cash cab starts tonight. 9 p.m. Eastern. Chance to win. $2,500 just for taking a ride with the cat. The, with Lou. I'm very serious. Make sure this is perfect. I'm going to put out my tweet. Let everybody know. Okay. So we are starting a cash cab, which I think will be a lot of fun. Which will make people like want to call the cab just to participate. But I charge two fifty for a ride in the city, seven fifty for a ride to Sandy Shores, and um, twelve fifty for a ride to uh, uh, Palmetto Bay. I forget what it's called. What the hell is it called again? I always forget. I just call it way north. Palito Bay, not Palmetto Bay. Palito Bay. I never spent much time up in there in the game when I played the game for real. Anyways, uh, so that's the charges for our cab services. But what I was saying is that, like, in the past, I have literally stood here and danced for, like, 35 minutes because I'm making a 1000 bucks every 10 minutes as my salary. So the NPC jobs, like, while they're fun, there's definitely other stuff to do. But you do get bored, and sometimes you just want to, like, cause a ruckus. And I tried to do that the other day. And then I got bored of, like, nobody paying attention to me from the police. So I decided to just go back to being a cab. And then they pulled me over for doing 57 and a 55, which is, like, ridiculous. So who's here? Who's Bobby, who started the server? He has, uh... Hey, all right, monkey boy. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Any Stopping in for a minute is better than not at all always we even talked about that in the rad stream which reminder we raised twelve thousand dollars in one week for rise above the disorder which they focus on mental health if you struggle with mental health they are a great place to start because if you can't afford it they do have resources to help you pay for it there's like nobody left unhelped when it comes to rad and jason the ceo is a very very well-spoken educated dude and him and i are on the same page in regards to how sleep impacts mental health and that you know that's our goal is to help you sleep better that's what we're here to do okay so there's nobody here so i can't really screw with anybody because usually when i'm dancing on the cab they're like oh yo louie what's up but who's your bobby who's the one who started this server pretty cool dude um he has who's your motor so this being burnout here let's just run a red light see if we can't get pulled over um I'll just run them all the way to the dealership. Who's Your Motors is Bobby's uh, car dealership. And there's some, because it's Burnout City, there's a lot of car racing and car stuff going on in this game. And uh, so there's some pretty sweet cars. And I'll show you, I'll show you the, the store here real quick. I just wish, see, like I'm getting away with way too much. Way too much. Just pull me over already. Refuse. I can't get in trouble. No PDs better be stream sniping me right now. Yet. Oh, dear. All right. Hey, you never changed that name. You've had that since before we were a real business. Now we're a real business. You can't be gamer advantage to anyone. All right. So this is the dealership. It's pretty sweet. Um, what's cool, and they don't have. You can't really like do much if there's not somebody in here they're not allowing test drives i don't think yet unless you no see i can't test drive unless there's an employee here but what i can do is i can look through it and if you go down to sedans and you go to this car right here this ct5 
Sly, who's in the chat right now, who's one of my employees in the taxi cab company, good personal friend of mine. Um, he, uh, we, I bought the Range Rover. He bought the CT5. We went and pimped them out to match each other. They modded it, and it went 190 miles an hour. So we're like, we want to be an honest stand-up business in this server. So because it went 190 miles an hour, I'm, oh, my camera's lagging a little bit. Damn, no, no, there's no way. I got to fix some things to make this run smoother. But because he was doing 190 miles an hour and we wanted to be a stand-up kind of company, we decided to take it back to the mechanic and say, hey, you know, it's not supposed to go 190. So they stripped all of the stuff off of it, and it goes 170. This is one of the fastest freaking cars in the game that you can get for 60 grand. It's crazy. It stacks up to like like probably like something like this, if not faster. And this car is 686,000. It can't. No, I wonder if I think it's cuz I have my cam in 1080p. It's just it's it's not it's not moving as fast with even though the PC can handle it. I just don't think this cam is made for this to do all this at the same time. Um, so just to give you an idea of what we figured out. So I think I might go back and buy, I got I'll show you something funny too. I actually have another car. I'll show it to you. Um, I might go back and buy that car. Cause that's like ridiculously fast. And I don't think they figured out how to fix it yet. But at the same time, I don't even like buying the other cars because when you drive the taxi, you literally don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to pay for gas or fixing it or you don't have to pay for any of that stuff. But I did want to show you that I was on and grinding GTA RP. Do I have to keep this mustache? Like, how long do I keep this mustache for? I literally did it for Movember. Which, oops, I just stopped it. I literally did it for Movember, um, which I do, I do it every year, but I wasn't streaming at this time last year. I don't think I was. Um, you know, how long do I keep it for? Do I keep it forever? speeding and I'm running red lights right now. I ain't got time for this. All right, let me show you. Let me show you my other car. It's a real POS. I think I got sold the lemon, honestly. Oh crap, I meant to go under that. That's alright, I'll just come down the other side. show you this other whip I got. You know what? I got sold a lemon, yo. Oh, yeah. I should change the colors. You gotta tell me this stuff. You can't just be changing the... You work for me, brother. You can't just be changing things without my permission. But that is a good point about the gangs. I'm even gonna stay in roleplay when I'm not in roleplay. Alright, check this piece of crap out. That's my other card. Now, it's not technically a donk, for the record. Because I think a donk... Yeah, I was in last night, actually. I was in until... I was on from probably 7 to 8.45. So I was in. So don't ever accuse me of that again. <laughs> so this is my other car, but listen to it when I drive it. <laughs> it's backfiring and smoking. Look at the hood, it's smoking. Look at it. It's smoking. It will squeal them out, but watch the backfires. This is so slow. I mean, it feels like it's going to die at any minute. Look at that. I'm slamming the accelerator. This thing is so slow. And by the way, somebody stole it and painted it. So this is a 68 Plymouth Fury is what this is. I mean, it's the worst brakes. It has. It was the first car I bought. No, it doesn't need a repair kit. That's wrong. That's inaccurate information. I'm not an idiot, even though Spencer thinks I am. There's the stats for my Plymouth Fury. Tell me that needs a repair kit. 
does not need a repair kit. It's a goddamn lemon. These are 42s, Marty. These are 42s. It does not need a repair kit, though. This car is effed. This car does not work. It's backfiring. It dies. I've had it. I've spent five grand fixing this thing. Oh, if I got somebody behind me. Shout out to Galloway. park this piece of crap because i'm not able to stay on long today so it's, the thing's a piece of junk i do need to get a fix though it needs a hug yeah it definitely needs a hug it's a piece of crap i was going to ask for a refund but the problem is is that the last dealer that was there couldn't do refunds exchanges anything and then bobby the owner of it he's so freaking busy yeah yeah exactly um yeah five grand and both of us are still in the same position marty He's not in here to like make those deals a lot of times. So I'm trying not to bother the owners of, of the servers too much. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to, sometimes I forget where I'm at here. I, I, I don't want to like annoy them, but for real. Oh wait, I need to drink this before I leave. I said I'd have a beer. There's nothing better than a mustache and a beer. Uh, Friday beer. I need that, man. It's been a crazy week. I know. Somebody stole it and painted it pink, though. Well, there, there goes 5-0. Should have ran that red light right in front of him. I gotta show you my horn. So come find me and burn out. Uh, I think there's a link for the Discord server in the chat. We should probably get that Discord server link if you want to go back and grab that. Uh, Joel, we could make that a command if people want to come find me in RP because I'm on this quite a bit. I'm on it about three, four hours a day. So if you want a game with me, this is the place to do it. Somebody probably stole my Range Rover, though. Oh, oh shit. And then when you're done with this cab, after you beat the hell out of it. You know what we should do? There, shots fired. They don't come for that. I don't know what they're going to come for. I broke the car. All I did was shoot the windows. <laughs> this thing's glitching out. Oh crap, I forget how to push it. I just need to push it in there. The shift. Wait, how the hell do you push it again? I forget. What's the push? You can push this thing in here. I know you can. Somebody in here remembers how. I'm going to wait until you tell me. Or until the police show up, one of the two. And I'm going to tell him, hey, I couldn't get the it's shift E. All right, let's see if I get in here now. Can I park it? Oh, there's glass all over the ground. Oh, I'm just like not. <laughs> well, we're just going to leave that there for right now. <laughs> yeah, well, I screwed that one up, but that's all right. I have an unlimited supply of cabs. Don't worry. <laughs> I wanted to show you my horn, though. Hang on. It's like the police aren't even coming for a shots fired. And they're going to come for uh, breaking and entering. All right, ready? I made them find this horn. I forced them to find this horn. And the best part is, is if you could go back and clip what I was saying, I was like, no, no, Jackie, the mechanic. I was like, no, Jackie, Jackie, listen. I was like, it goes like this. Do 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 do
And the, the owner of the mechanic shop ran up. He's like, yo, I know what horn you're talking about, dude. He's like, I'm going to find it for you. It probably took us a half hour to find it. It really did. But it was worth it. Well, I have that cab out, so we're just going to have to leave it there. Whoops, now I have this up, too. Oh, wait, crap. Things go around. I'm going to go park this thing. Or else I'll end up in impound. And then if you do a short tap, it's cool, too. I would get it painted. I would get it painted if I didn't have to get off soon and get to my family for dinner. But I'm going to be back on. There is no doubt about it. I will be on tonight. So you're not going to find me here streaming. You want to come find me, you need to join the Burnout City server. Get whitelisted. Maybe tell him you know the owner of the cab company. Get whitelisted and come join me. That's what you need to do. My boy Randy, he owns R&R &R over there. Over there. That's R&R. &R. It's more like a motorcycle shop, but they do towing. I mean, not a, what do we got? Five police officers on, one mechanic, no EMS, no attorneys, and one taxi cab driver. I just fired shots and tried to break into my own car. Louis Lancaster. No, Lancaster. Louis Lancaster, not Landcaster. Lancaster. I know there's dinner on GTA. Dude, I could get lost in this for, like, honestly, it feels like I've been playing for five minutes. I haven't even fucking done anything, and I, have, like, already 35 minutes has gone by. I could do this all day. But I really get into the, this is just more of an intro. Like, I really get into, like, the moat part, which I think is, like, the best. And then if you do. Oh, wait, why didn't. What about that? What does that do for you? What does that do for you? I do eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner via emotes. I uh, try... The one you get a lot of people doing is, like, just, the, like, you know, the that. Like, oh, this over here, this over here, this over here. Like, there's a lot of that going on. And, and that's easier. People are like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, those are the two, like, go-tos. But, like, you can really get down and, and get creative where, you're, you know, you're pointed down. And you're like, man, there's something messed up with the wheel right here. And you're using your finger like, oh, there's a scratch all the way around along the bottom right here. It goes all the way this way. That's when it's cool to use pointing. But I find it most interesting to use your emotes. And so if you go in here, if you know, like, you can change everything about this guy. I have a confident walk on right now. I've done cigar, too, is good. But you could do, like, you can just have an adjust tie. So if you can get good and you read these emotes, so it should tell you. I forgot where it went. Um, usually it's something like this. If it says adjust tie, then usually it's something like... Yep. See? So if you can get good at a couple of them, you kind of hold down the... You get your emotes in that are good for your guy. See, it's not sandwich. Probably because I spelt sandwich wrong. But if you get good with the emotes and you figure out, like, which ones you like the best, like I have the dick glow stick dance one in there, you know, you can, you can get good and make it, like, kind of your thing. Now, there are some nasty... Nasty ones in here. Anal giver and anal getter. Okay, so what the app is that all about? Then there is a car BJ getter <laughs> and a car BJ. <laughs> Only in role play. You would never see me do this in real life. But there's a lot of funny ones, so if you get if you get good, like, you can use that a lot. There's just so many in here. I mean, I could spend, you know, like, when, one time when somebody was down, you know, you're using this. 
And although you're not really reviving them in the game, this is what RP is all about. And that's what I don't see enough of, is like a lot of the RP has been very basic. And what I want to get better at is making sure that I'm doing the RP that really makes me unique in this game. So I use a lot of drink and eat and like, you know, fall over is pretty funny. Like where you're just like, oh man, I'm not feeling good. I really, really don't feel good. Bam. Like that's RP, right? Like you have to, and there's so many of them. What the hell just happened? Somebody just smashed into that fire hydrant coming around that corner. So that's where I find it most fun. This has been my this is my jam right now. I'm, I'm way late to the game. I know. Um, I wanted to find something that I could stream on a regular basis that that I can get into, and and I think Grand Theft Auto Roleplay is it. So it was a short stream. It was just for an hour to pop on, say hi, show you what I've been working on. Uh, I want to throw that link um in here for the discord server again i'll grab it right now if it wasn't already in there if you guys want to come find me the burnout server is the place to do it here's the link i will put it in the chat there you go if you want to join the server with me this is where you do it i'm in here almost every night i am on eastern time you know who i am i will not be me i will be louis so no meta gaming. You can only know me as you really would know me for the first time coming into my cab company. And that's that's what this is all about. But I think this is a ton of fun. I look forward to streaming it more. It's right in line with what I've been doing on Farm Sim. It all is like right up my alley. So until uh, until Twitch bans me for... Oh, it's going to be so loud. Until Twitch bans me for using a multi-stream service. I'll just wait for them to do that. That's what I'll do. So, great end of the week. We got, like, tons of stuff coming out as far as product for Gamer Advantage. Um, as far as new frames, new lenses, other releases. Like, really excited for a lot of that stuff. But we're also making a big difference in the community. So I don't know if you saw my tweet, but what I say sometimes is I say, okay, you want to compare us to a $15 pair of blue light glasses on Amazon? Show me the $12,000 they raised for Rad. Show me the two, $3,000 they raised for PBTF. Show me the money they raised for um, uh, Children's Valley Hospital. Show me the money they raised. You know, like we probably raised upwards of $50,000 or more this year for charity. So yeah, if you add it all together, Trevor Project. I mean, there's just a lot. So I'm just not going to be compared to anybody else. And you guys already know that. So like I said, if you're interested, come into the Burnout City RP server. There's the link right there. Uh, we'll take our small but mighty crew and go raid somebody right now. And then I will find you online and I will be back streaming at a minimum. A minimum. I want to come in here on Friday and stream some more. I know it's the day after Thanksgiving, which means that everybody's going to be home gaming, which means that it should be a lot of fun. So let's find let's let's find the raid. Hey, thank you. Let's find the raid. Somebody fun. Let's raid somebody playing GTA RP. Let's see if we can find. Hang on a second. Let's raid. Oh, I got it. Okay, hang on. I'm going to find it for you. Hang on. I got it. We're going to find somebody who's streaming. Vinar, one day you will be there. What we're going to do is we'll go into stream promo. Who's the last? Ah, oh, that was last night. Nobody else has posted today. Is this guy streaming? Is he live? No. Let's 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 uh let's raid like a small GTA RP streamer. Can you find one for me, Joel? I'm gonna look right now. Hundred and eighty five viewers is too many. Find somebody. I'll let you pick. Fifty four thousand viewers. I don't think we should raid somebody with fifty four thousand viewers. I mean these are all huge. 
I want small. I want somebody who deserves a little love. They're out here grinding. Let's go. I'm going to find somebody for you. Hang on. I'm scroll. What? You got it? 15? Let's do it. Go. All right. We found somebody. We're going to pay it forward. I like. How, do you like how I just scream out of my office for Joel? It was nice seeing you too, Marty. Hope all is well with you. So whenever whenever Joel does that raid, we'll go. So what's up to Theta YouTube Facebook? Thanks everybody for joining. I know Joel's got it under control. Let's go see Corvus Captain. Just go in, tell him Gamer Advantage rules, and that he should come find me in another server. No, I should, don't do that. Don't say another server. But we're gonna go raid Corvus Captain. All right, show some love. And tell him you came from Gamer Advantage and the CEO just started streaming and that's why we're there to see him. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go raid. Love you guys. Have an amazing weekend and have a very happy Thanksgiving. Don't forget to check us out on Black Friday. And uh, yeah, like I just can't wait to get back to see you guys more after the holidays calm down. But until then, I'm out and we're going to raid. See ya!